going on who we got in here we got michael dorton and lewis in here brian phelps and hammy the french bull hammy the french bulldog dave what's up davy boy what's up bobby big g what's up ephesus in the house Y'all see Ephesus. He might be the greatest thing since pockets on jeans. Greatest thing since pockets on jeans. I need a guitar. Why am I guitarless? Let's jam. Right. I'll play some chords and you can jam out. I'll jam out. Hand me that acoustic down, Mom. <laughs> we got a good one for you today. We got a bunch of guitars we're going to mess with. We're going to jam a little. You know how we do what we do. Do it again. Give it pretty close. There you go. What's going on, Larry? That's good. That's good. Here. Here, D. He said, let me hold that crappy ivy. <laughs> it ain't gonna be so crappy here in a minute. What you got for me? You got something for my death of rain? Two all's in here, man. We got we got the masters up in here. Ephesus is in this guy. Y'all gotta hit that thumbs up. If you wanna see any cool guitars, you gotta hit that thumbs up. Because we got some stuff to show you. I'm finna break some stuff out on you. Get on that like button. I'll make it happen. We'll stop all this lip flapping. You gotta get on that like button. Ow! Jeez. 
Should we go and boogie? Yeah. What, an A? Yeah, let's do it. A guitar. They on that like button. I got to show them some stuff now. They did it. They did it. They made it happen. They made that like button match the chat. Guitar me, baby. I think. I think that. You wish you had it like this, don't you? Watch this. Guitar me, honey. Yes, you are a lucky man. Oh, what a lucky man. Look who this comes from. It's another one of those Leo Jams guitars. Or is it Leo James? It's Jams. I, think I like Jams better anyway. Yeah, I think it's Jams. But we got this. Let's see what's in the bag. Now, JT brought this with him. So I had nothing to do with this. And he ain't done nothing to it. Took it out, played it. That's it. So we're gonna check it out. He said it needs a little loving. We're gonna, the, we're gonna give it a little. It was about it's the, 105 degrees, 110 degrees when I picked it up out of the case from the <laughs> it is the green sparkle, dude. The color is not coming across on the camera. This thing is screaming loud, bro. Look at this so thing. Popping. Holy crap, bro. This yeah, thing crazy. is blinging in person. I know. It's Holy. It doesn't, it doesn't it's not out. nowhere. Dude, this is blinging in person. I'm talking and gleaming. The neck is it's, shining. It's just, this This is bad looking it, to me. It's got like oranges Love. and yellows all in it. Oh, right here. Oranges and yellows. and My turn. <laughs> <laughs> One more time on that tuner when you get a sec there. Gate did him. Let's see if it's in if it's in tune out of the car. to have a little honk to it. Here, try not to. <laughs> yeah. yeah. The action is this high on it. Yeah. <laughs> it really, really is, too. Super high. We're going to fix that right now, though. Ugliest headstock ever. They tried to make it look like a Friedman, didn't they? Huh? Yeah. Michael Helzer, do you need to level your frets even if they don't buzz? Nope. <laughs> That's one of them they don't, ain't broke, don't fix. Right? The bass boat of guitars. Let's go fishing. <laughs> what do y'all think about that thing? Show it in the camera a little bit. Take it up there and let them really get a good gleam and look at it. What do you guys think about that guy? Look at it. I wonder if we turned that light off that big one, it would, it would <clears throat> maybe see it back, back up a little bit. Dim it. Yeah. Not, 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 as, not as much. Yeah. Dude. It's crazy how much it sparkles, though, in this real thing life. This thing is gleaming, man. Yeah, it's, it's it insane. Is. It's not, uh, don't look 
and it's really like uh what's that called like those holographic things holographic kinda, yeah. yeah it's kind of like those little that hollow uh, hollow you know, flake the, which is what yeah my, that's what my custom shop is that's what drew me to it and then it's even more blingy in person than it is in even the photos mm -hmm. and you know look at that it's got the carve and yeah. then the, the carve there so it's super comfortable I mean, honestly, how much would you pay Warmoth to make a body like that for you? You know, yeah, seven, eight hundred dollars. <laughs> Sparkle and gleaming like that from Warmoth? No. Oh my God. No. I You're mean, not even getting that. I'm you? a parts caster freak, right? So you can't even get that from them, can you? For 170 bucks, it's worth it to me just for the body. <laughs> just for the body, right? <laughs> In my opinion. <laughs> I got guys like you to build the next right <laughs> exactly the master what's going on master we got tm done logged in what's going on man do you know what bridge that is i don't but i will say um it's um, string through the body and it's six saddle what else do you need but the one thing is is that i noticed is it's a three it's got three screws where the, the fenders usually have four so that means you you know the swap out isn't going to be great because you don't have to re-drill the sure, holes. Sure. So it's actually fine, though. You, I'm going to replace the saddles, get some uh, Graftex in there. I, I use the Graftex. Look, for me, JT's my guy and everything. But I'm not going to put this bridge on a Fender guitar. Just not going to. I'm going to put a Fender bridge on the guitar like it's supposed to. Some guys just might do that. But for me... I'll never try to match those holes up. You know what I'm saying? This is for this guitar, this type of guitar, guitar I make or whatever. Yeah. I wouldn't do that to my Fender. No. You wouldn't either. Yeah. Huh? You thought Not to a Fender, but I mean, to, but I wouldn't do it anyways. Now that I, you know, I've, it's like the, I have some, a really nice uh, Goto engraved that I was thinking about putting on it. If it had the right holes in there, but it, you know, because sometimes you got parts laying around that are better than the parts on the guitar. So you get, you know, you get to thinking, mm, maybe I could switch this out for that. And, and right. sometimes it's, you know, I know it's not worth it. Telly Spank. Yeah, but the action is super high. Yeah. Dun, 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 dun. That's why, that's why you're here, man. <laughs> let's, let's mess around with it. Let's mess around with it, guys. Let's mess around with it. You can grab that plug and hit that tuner and do whatever you'd like. Oh, cool, cool. Oh, yeah, look at this. <laughs> Dude, you could tip two playing cards under there in the middle. Oh, Jesus. Look. You see how far off it is? Let me get my glass. Let me get my glass. Let's look at the edge here, too. Yeah, it's pretty rough, JT. Yeah. But we got a fix for that. This might be the only thing that guitar needs, but none of the frets seem to be buzzing. None of the frets are buzzing right now. No. See what happens when I do this. Joe Ball's in the house. What's going on, Joey? <laughs> These nuts? <laughs> Joe Ball's in the house. What's going on? These nuts? <laughs> Is that your standard reply, bro? This thing's impressive. I had to too. say it before you got me with it. <laughs> He said, put a Bigsby on it, and it'll be right. Hey, if you guys think he's crazy on here, meet him in real life. He's a he's a amazing, crazy son of a bitch. <laughs> no, I'm not. <laughs> I think we should all have a big party down here in Orlando, and, and so you guys can meet this guy. It's, it's, <laughs> it would be well worth the plane ride. Trust me, man. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> This thing is more in tune. This is the $300 one you built, right? Yeah. 
It sounds great. Oh, no. Oh, man. First scratches. You seeing how bad it is? Ah, <laughs> oh, Lee. See what he said? It's did not he, true. Did you fix it? They said it's going to be a scar festival. Oh, there you go. Scar <laughs> that fest. sounds like a good place to start. <laughs> scar Dude, I just leveled that neck. Let's see what happens. Oh, yeah, she's straight now. Yeah? No joke, yeah. It looks, the action looks a lot better. Yeah. Still, still super high action. <laughs> but it's not, it's not a... Uh... Yeah, it's going to be all right now. Let's see. So you thought the nut was high on this? No, I don't. I just, I was... Uh... Eh, it's a little... If I if I put those higher gauge strings on, yeah, it, it is. Everybody said they're on their way, man. They want to have a scar fest with you. <laughs> I'm down. Yeah, you had them. You had the. Um... No, I'm talking about the actual cages I used to do the knuckles. You know, I'll find them here in a second. Oh, the. Oh. Uh, got to be right here. Like the old bacon in here. I just throw stuff in this drawer, and my wife comes in here and cleans my table off, and I can never. Wifey comes in here and cleans up. I can't find nothing after she's in here. She comes in here and uses my toys. Oh, yeah, I took those earlier. Yeah. Where are my gauges at? She pawned them. Yeah. <laughs> of all the things in the house to pawn, that's the only thing you could find, huh? <laughs> oh, well. No you gotta be over here. No Just so you know, I'm a real klutz. I'm a big klutz. Trey was here. So Trey took him. Yes, let's blame, <laughs> let's blame Trey. <laughs> Trey, big Mike. I'll go look. look. Yeah. While Kathy Grant finds stuff I'm needing. Let's check out another guitar, JT. Oh, gosh. Woo! Hey, just so y'all know, it looks a lot bigger on the camera than it is in here. We're literally on top of each other. <laughs> he's, he's not far away. Look, he's right there. See? <laughs> it looks like he's way behind me, but he, you're not. Oh, yeah, that guy. Here's a... Is well, this that's a Leo James? Yeah. That's got pickup swap, though. <laughs> Bruh, 
Bro, listen. Let me talk to him for a minute. This is the best guitar you're ever going to find for under $300. If you're a Les Paul kind of guy, the thing about these guitars, and I'm going to tell you what the problem is. You got those three knobs on there like a Strat. It's ugly. The knobs don't fit the color. And it's got the name Mitchell. <laughs> sounds like a... Sounds like a Freaking baseball glove. <laughs> but boy, is this a kick-ass guitar. It just is. I'm t Let me get that cord, man. <laughs> just for a second. Damn, this guts are all the way down. Hey, bro. Guts water all over. Yeah, it's the water. Thank God it's water. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, guys. Here you go. Guys, listen. I'm going to do a full review on this. Right. They they did a stupid idiot. You going to the bathroom? Yeah. Back there? Yeah, yeah. Use that one over there. Um, so anyway, listen. They did, they did the ugliest headstock. <laughs> that pointy headstock ain't going with this. It just ain't. I don't like it. I've never liked PRSs either. But the name Mitchell... Man, they, like, they dropped the ball on that one. <laughs> and those knobs throw up for me. But, dude, I literally walked out of the store. I bought this from the Guitar Center here in my town. The manager, Molly, gave it to me for $200. And she gave me the switch and the parts to fix it because the, the little tips broke off the switch here. You can still use the switch. But, dude, I'm telling you right now, this guitar. Open that drawer back here. Yeah, I ain't worried about it. Dude, this. <laughs> knobs are impossible to pull out but once you do instant hum cancel hear that things so. now wow what Wayne Mitchell is the guitar center owner that's why it's called Mitchell yeah well Mitchell you should have named this something other than the, the baseball glove. Because when I, when I, that's what I'm thinking. Don't it sound like a baseball glove? Or <laughs> right? Gay bartender. <laughs> or a gay bartender, he said. <laughs> <laughs> what? Sometimes it's not, it's not a good idea to name shit after yourself. <laughs> right. <laughs> this is this guitar, y'all. Now, that's the single coil in the bridge. Ugh. They dropped the ball. They put these stupid little... You can barely pull those up. You can barely pull them, man. Bro, kiss my foot, boy. Yeah. Got that. 
me. Tell me I'm wrong, JT. Somebody slap me. I'm tripping. <laughs> You don't like that. You do. You can dirty up. Just step on the kids me there. I, I, me. I dropped the pick. I must have put it down. He's one of them guys that'll lose all your guitar picks while he's here. There it is. Look, JT visits. You have no guitar picks, but he don't take them with him. He just loses them while he's here. <laughs> you don't steal them. <laughs> I ain't no thief. No, I'm just you don't steal them. He just loses them. <laughs> It's worth the guitar all day, ain't it? Uh, absolutely. Look at it. Plays like a dream. For real, it does. All right, boys. figure. Woman what? cleans your stuff. What, what? Never let your woman clean your area. <laughs> what's a, what's a, uh, what was I saying you're doing there, man? What's a, what does a gauge look like? Oh, it's, it's just probably a sealer gauge. It's like the things you would use for, uh, for the valves and shit on the car. I just don't know why they're not right here. I never put them anywhere. They should be right here where I work at. Huh. What were you doing while we're at it? Wind a couple minutes. Take a minute. You want to wait this? You can do it while I'm doing this. Seriously. That's good enough. Yeah, if you want to. Wind a pickup. First time ever? Yes. Hey, y'all want to see JT try to wind a pickup for the first time? I'm Get the thing. He's going to try to wind his own pickup. <laughs> Here. That thing don't need nothing. Man. Yeah. It's perfect, man. You just need to lower the... You just need to lower the... Hey, saddles down. We, we, let me measure the string space so I know what saddles to get. You know how to do that from here to here? What do you mean? Yeah, with the saddle? string spacing? Yeah. I forgot what in here. I'm going to wipe that and rub it. Hang on. I'll send it out to the caliper. Hey, babe, I need a caliper. There's two of them in the garage. Caliper. A cow liquor. Cow liquor. JT's going to try to wind his own pickup. Huh. Let's see. Wow. <laughs> Let's see if he can. I'm anxious to see this here. This is, uh... Woo! Yeah, you can't be part of your pal on the guitars, even if they're yours. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> can't be dropping the guitars around here, even if they're yours. It makes me angry. <laughs> <laughs> All right. You know, we plug him in right here. The table has everything. Thanks to me. I rigged it up this way, boys. <laughs> Y'all think he's going to be able to do this? <laughs> Let me turn around here where we can see <laughs> what he's doing. You know what to do? No. You have no clue, do you? I have no idea. First thing we're going to do is grab that little white piece of styrofoam back there. Okay. Then you're going to take this wire yeah. off of here. See it? Yeah. Grab that. This is good. This is rookie knighted the pickup winder. Okay. <laughs> All right. Now you got it like that. Now we're going to put it through there. Oh, man. Yeah. Come on now. That's what you do. got to do. Thread the needle. Yeah, thread the needle. And then you have to stick it between these and then through this hole. 
out this little bit of this tip. hole right here. Right through there. That was easy. Look at that. Look at that. And then through there. Push it down as far as you can get it. All the way in there. <laughs> giggity. Giggity, giggity, giggity. Ooh, giggity, giggity, giggity. Backwoods Billy, what's going on? Killer Coiler, what's up, dude? TM's in the house. <laughs> he's hey, he's he's blowing wreck under pressure, boys. Alright, here we go. Pressure's too great. Okay, two sided tape, babe. I never did, but I'd take some two sided tape and forget about the game. Right. We've it. moved on to other things now. Got it. He got it. All right, look. Oh, it gets good here. This is where it's this is where it gets fun. We gotta get the I gotta get the hold down five thousand. You're gonna need that. You're going to need this hammer. You're going to need this fire. You might even need this big one. Here. Scalpel. Okay. All right. Definitely going to need this. Now they go fast. Which one are you going to do? The base first? All right. You know uh, what you got to do, right? This down. Goes down. Goes down. Yeah. So the wire don't catch on. It's a bitch to put those in. Watch this. I can't wait to see him do it. You put them in a certain way up? Yes, I'm going to give you the thing. Okay. These ones need to go north. North. So they're gonna be, these ones are going to be black. This little thing here tells you that's smart. Okay. Got it? Right. Boom. Let's make sure. Check this one. Remember I was telling you about the polarities? Yeah. Different? See that's north? That was south. Oh, there so you in go. the middle, it's hump cancer. Yes. 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 Did you guys know that? Who knew that? Thank you, babe. Who knew that? That in the middle position on a telly, it's hum canceling. TM went chicken picking. He said, I had to get a piece of chicken, but I am back now. <laughs> <laughs> the Townsgate people said, look at how excited Scar gets when a friend spends his own pickup. Yes, sir. It's his first time. Yeah, I'm, I'm pretty damn excited about it. I got to tell you guys. He said he's pretty daggone excited about it. Like a kid with a Tonka toy. We need to move that camera up so we can see it. Hang on, dang thing. Hang on, Just a little. Yeah. Is that better, fellas? There we go. Now you can see. Guitar friends, what's up, Philip? Philly B. He said he'd want to wound coils for a tattoo machine. <laughs> he said do a scatter wound. Bobby, I don't even know what that means. That, uh, You're always with that Murphy, man. That Orlando north? in the house. What's going on? Where'd that north-south thing go? The north and south thing? The little boat. Where I, where I left it. Yeah, right you got to tie that to your packer. Right where I, I left it. Hold on man. to it. <laughs> I don't want this to go that far, but. All right, let me oh. turn this around here for a minute. I'll put a new piece of two sided tape on here so our pickup don't come flying off and hit nobody in the face tonight. Right? Sound good to you? Yes, Sound good sir. to me. Sound good to you? Sound good to me. Ooh. <laughs> Got my hands left sticky. Now, I don't know if you know this little trick right here. You just cut the tape down the middle. 
We pulled it out one time. Really easy. Like so. From the middle. Cut a slit in the middle. Yeah. JT's over here black and blue in his fingers. Let me see how you got him on the back. There you go. He did it easy. I had a hard time doing that. I had a nightmare doing that, bro. Hang on. Let me get some more magazines. Go ahead and set both your bobbins up. Now, what do you want? 42 or 43? 43? 43 what? Gauge. Oh. Um, yeah, whatever. Whatever, man. Whatever, man. Let's talk to the chat. 42 or 43 gauge? We're using Al Nico 5 magnets. Talk to me. Talk to me. Scatter wounds when the wires wound scattered, not neatly. Are you serious? You're kidding me, right? <laughs> that Paul Kerr said 41 or 42. I said 42 or 43. Well, let's go 42. George Wilson said 42. Of course they said 42 because you already strung up the 43. <laughs> this they is heard 43. you say that. This huh? Killer collar. Coiler. Most, most single coil setups when the bridge and neck are acting together tend to sound more like a humbucker. It can't the stereotypical 60 cycle hum. This is why two and four are preferred strap positions. Not to mention the cluck you get from them. Right? Yeah. Sound. Man, you're taking too long doing this, JT. Yeah. I'd be fired by Fender already. Look, you just stick it in there, smack him in there good. Okay. And then we're gonna put it in the holder downer five thousand. Gotcha. The holder downer five thousand. The holder downer five thousand. Works beautifully. Yeah. Hold up. No, it don't either, does it? It only works for the other one that's right. Yep, you gotta do it by hand with this one. Nope, the holder down is 5,000 ain't going to work for that. I'll get back with you when you finish that. <laughs> okay, it's going to be a while. He said, he said, yeah, it's a pain in the ass, man. He said 42 AWG 8,550 8, wine. I don't know anything about wine and pickups. Me neither. I just. He's just not afraid to try. Right. I ain't scared. Now, my wife's good at this. She really is. But me, man, I probably ain't going to be no good at this. Patience is not a virtue for you. Nah, man. I'm, I'm wide open, bro. Hey, y'all oh, remember shit. that? I'm going to give him a peek of that Gibson SG. Y'all remember that ugly Gibson SG from the short? The black one? I'm going to give you a peek of what it looks like now. That's the next video. And then we're going to then we're going to do the finish the two part guitar video. I'm going to finish that guitar. What's well, already finished, but the video is not. All right, it's time, it's time to help out. Yeah. Okay. Let's do this. Let's lift the board. Let's hit it from the back. Yep. Yep. How many Pollocks does it take to wind a pickup? <laughs> <laughs> Woo! That's pretty good, ain't it? That's pretty good. <laughs> Don't you lie to me. That's good. Let me see that. But see, you got to get it to go all the way through. We're going to fix it later. And then it's going to come out. You know what I'm saying? No one's half the battle, man. No one is half the battle. Hold it down or don't just hold down stuff. 
It does all types of things. Get in there, boy. All right. Come on. We'll straighten them out later, okay? There you go. He gets the idea now. I get it. I get it, man. Rock roll, yeah. Raggy. You gotta check clarity every time. I know. I know. Flip the name, you never know. Could you do this at home? Don't try this at home. <laughs> Is it worth the aggravation to make your own pickup? Is it worth the aggravation to sit here and do this? All the stuff. If you can get away from your wife, it's always worth. <laughs> hey, his wife is going to be watching this. <laughs> I hope not. She'll be so dead. she uh, will be dead, won't she? Three. One, to hold the pickup. Two, to run the wire around it. <laughs> <laughs> That's pretty good. That's pretty good, man. That's really good. Is that's actually probably accurate as pretty well. Pretty accurate, yeah. <laughs> yeah, he probably hit the nail on the head with that, didn't he? Yes. <laughs> Something like that, huh? The first. Yeah, did you see a ball of black tape around anywhere? No. Because we're going to need a little piece of black tape, JT. All right. Now you're cooking with gas in. Now I'm cooking with gas. Let me go to the garage and get some black tape. Keep the people entertained while All I'm right. gone. So if you guys want to see what I'm doing, I just got a little deal here that's able to keep a space so I can get these get these down in this mount, mounting plate. It's almost there. All right, good. So you see... They're crooked as hell. So I'm going to try to straighten them up a little bit. And then uh, putting this top on. That was the issue before because they kept popping out. And apparently this is just as difficult to get seated. Because of the width. It's so uh, on point. But they are lining up pretty good. This definitely ain't as easy as it looks, let me just tell you. Seems like it'd be pretty simple, but it is not simple. The big boss man be firing me right now. Oh. Score my guitar. Man, guys don't know how hot it is in Florida, do they? They got no idea how hot it is. It's crazy talk. I've been playing outside too, outside gigs. Ain't no fun at all. Yeah. This ain't working out for me. Dude, you didn't see this guitar. This is the I biggest. I tried not to, man. Man, that's the biggest trash I think I've ever gotten in the mail. Oh my God. 
Yeah, $84 worth of garbage. I know a guy put $400 in parts on one of these and it still played like shit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this is this ain't even worth doing nothing it's to. A, it's a boat paddle. It's literally. A boat paddle. It's a hang it up on the wall. And... Let me show him this SG. Oh, yeah. <clears throat> Not still getting a couple more coats of clear. But it just got a good wet sand. You guys get to see this stuff in the live video before everybody else does. Not bad, huh? This is the one that had all that black paint on it. You tell them why you had the paint back of the head stuff? Yeah. They know. They saw. But they'll have to see the real video to figure out why I had to do all this. Yeah, it's looking way better, ain't it? Well, my friend that owns it sure is happy. <laughs> he couldn't believe it when he saw it. He's like, what the heck? He's going to make a pickup. You got to put it in the wax when you're done. Oh. Don't you? I got I to get this damn thing on here. It's, Do you need some help? I feel like it's an impossible task. You might be right. For the average guy that done, never done it, it is. He's got to practice it a couple of times. But that's me. I did the same thing. Ask them. I did my very first one on the thing with them. No, man. No, man. No, man. No, man. We're going to do this thing like Scarface. Did you do this? You did not do this. I did not do that. You did not try to lay it down like that. Well, I can't see. You did I this. can't. I can't did you see. Did this? You can do it one at a time. Okay? Yeah. We're going to do them one at a time. Watch. Let them come out a little further. Got some freaking wax in it. On. How's that even possible? Maybe it's not wax. Do you have this on the right way? Let's put it right here. One more time. Score. Right? Yeah. Hold up, JT. Stop. Dag on it. Now you do it. Right. Making sure. Good. You look so good today. <laughs> you say heard that before? <laughs> From the computer models. Or something like that. But uh <laughs> that. I was just gonna work them out. Stagger a little bit. Huh? A little stagger in there. Huh? Sure, sure. Mm. 
Open that up that. so that it's supposed to be got room to room. That's the guy. That's the that's the ticket. We're gonna figure this out. Do you know how much space it needs to be? No, nope. is it just a? That's the ticket right there. Right side. I didn't do it like this when I did it by myself. <laughs> it was so much easier for some reason. I ain't even kidding you. But I, I didn't wind this one. I did the neck. Old lady did this one. Uh oh. Huh? Uh oh. <laughs> Ruh -roh. Ruh -roh. Well, it should go it on. It was all for nothing. It should go on there easy now. It's been on there a couple times now. Right? See? You would think. Yeah, it does. Came off pretty dang easy. Didn't it? Yeah. Yeah. You think uh, they yeah. just could come off a lot more than they do. Yeah. If that's all they have holding them. Right. <laughs> well, you don't handle them when they're in the guitar. Right, guys? You don't handle these when they're in the guitar. They kind of just kind of get put there and stay there. Once they get the uh, wire around, wire wrapped around it, too, it's a lot, a lot more secure. One at a time, baby. Put my wife's lips still. One at a time. She no problem. So, Mikey, come right here and do this. Show us up right now. I'm kidding you. She does this. No problem. But you know, all the best pickup. That makes sense right there. All the yeah. best pickup winders are female in the world. You didn't know that, did you? Uh, yeah, the Seymour Duncan. All Fender, women. Chinese lady. There we go. Now we're talking. We did it, guys. At least that's what I'm saying. That's my story, and I'm sticking to it, right? We did it. We have achieved Chan, boys. Just get this one to act right. All right. Now. Oh, I popped it off again. Look at this. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I told you it was going. Right now, all right, put some super glue on it for too late. <laughs> yeah, you heard is that what? So that's what you do, you just pop super glue on there a little bit. Yeah, it ain't working good. I wouldn't beat it no more. I had it straight, I had it straight, JT. Yeah, that super one was the worst one. Wasn't it? It needs to bow out though. Keep that wire from snagging. It's gonna be good right here. <clears throat> we have done it. And then we'll, this will tighten them up real good when they won't come out. And then we'll smack them down flat. Because you're going to have to get the plate for it back with your screws offline for it. I don't have any. Yeah, it's that, JT. Yeah, there you go. Ready to wind you up, Bobby, buddy? Your very first one, huh? Yes, sir. He said he's ready to wind that guy. <laughs> ready to see it. <clears throat> <All right. I'll> be <laughs> Ding, dang, dong. He put the magnets in right. Oh. Let's see if this thing's working. Oh, it's working good, ain't it? I made that guy. It better be working good. It's in here. 
And I'm finna use it. It better be working. All right. Let me get my granny's on. You know what you're gonna do now, don't you? Uh, no idea. Okay. Now, you take this wire. Okay. You did not put it in the foam. And you put it deep within the realms of the foam. You have to put it way in the foam. Just pull it out. I got it. You're pushing it in. See, it stays out by itself. Let it go. Stop. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> yeah, that's better. There we go. All right. That's it. All right. All right. Now. This thing's a pain in the neck, dude, because you can't see it, can you? You can barely see the wire. Yeah. Now, you ready? I'm ready, man. You're going to stick. Let me show you, because it, it ain't, ain't, you ain't going to be able to do it the first time. I'll show you. All right, so we're going to go through here on the left side. Give it plenty of slack. We're going to give it plenty of slack, boys. Just run a loop that again. a couple times. Just once. One more time. That's just to help hold it. Right. Now I'm going to go ahead and wrap it a couple of times. Okay. Nice and tight against the bobbin. See that? Yeah. Now, why would I do that? Because it gets it going before you get all fast like that. Yeah. I pulled it out. Look at that. Right. No. It's because it keeps it. The wire needs to be against that bobbin. So when it waxes oh. it, it keeps it up against it. And it doesn't get a little hair wire can get caught in anything the pick could actually you know what i'm saying right right fall in between the strings and chop that wire somebody was asking what the motor is on that thing you have a video on that don't you yes you, you can send a link to them kathy what kind of motor is it uh i got it offline it's a slower it goes slower. It's not a really fast motor. And the reason that it's a slower one is so it can do this. I'm just going to get a couple of wires on there. See that? So then the, the wire's against the bobbin. You see that? Yeah. I'm just going to put this right in the middle. Which, and and will you, what would what you wrap it like clock, counterclockwise? Or? We're doing uh, clockwise here. We're on. Looking good. Hang on. Oh, okay. That's good. That's fine. Oh, that thing. Oh, my God. Oh, hell yeah. I know I went the wrong way. Don't worry. We look like a couple grandmas up in here, don't we? These things. What's up, party people? There's a lady that's short. All that, but yes. All right, now. Now we're on the right track, JT. What's up? All right. Now, it sits on there a little kinky. Notice, yeah, I like to put these guitar picks. Is it there. it's holding by the magnets pretty much? That's it, that's what's holding it on, huh? What's holding it on there? The magnets. two sided tape. Oh, okay, yeah, I like to stable it with those sometimes. You know what I'm saying? Get it more straight, 
whatever. Yeah, hope they don't fly out. So you just now look. Rabbit now up. this is the cool thing. This guy here, watch. Turn him on. Oh, okay. Click this, and we're working the left side now. See that? Watch. I'm gonna break the wire, Sean. Okay, watch. I'm gonna take it to the edge, right? Slow him down. Look. Give it to the end. It's probably gonna be good. It's gonna slide up in there when the pressure gets there, right? It starts getting. It's gonna. It's gonna push it in there. Take it just a smidge more. Well, that's probably too much. Right back there. And boy, we're cutting it close there, ain't we? Huh? This guy, look at this guy. This guy. Need to come out a little bit on There we go. All right, boys, we're ready to wind one now. Then you push this button, takes it over to the right. Look at that. You seen that? Now we're doing the right side. All right? Might be good. You catching on nothing? Yeah. Man, that's kind of sketchy. That's just too cool. Man. Then look, set our speed. You just. And then you wind the pickup. See the pick fill out? <laughs> the wire broke. I forgot about this, man. You, I forgot to put the thing up there. Why you let me put? <laughs> what do you do now? You take this off and redo it. You got to take all that copper yeah, off. Yeah, I won't take a second. Brian tried to warn you. Did he? I wasn't paying attention. Sorry, Brian. He asked it. He asked if you put it up. Why didn't you say something, Kathy? <laughs> You're in there watching everything. <laughs> Dang on it. Brian, you knew that was going to happen, didn't you, bro? That's my dog, old Brian Phelps. <laughs> hey, JT had to see that so he'd know. Too funny. Right. Man, that guy was going too good, wasn't he? That was the problem, wasn't it? <laughs> going too good, wasn't it? I already got a neck one wound over here. I sent Buddy a different set that we went up. My wife went up. All right, one more time. Man, we got to do all it's this like, again. It's like mermaid hair, you guys. It's like. See what you did, JT? That. It's mermaid hair. Oh look! It look. It's still. It only broke it at the thing. See here. Yeah, that's mermaid hair, ain't it? It totally. It feels like hair. Well, they call them hair wires, hair thin. Hair. Yeah, Brian, you suck. You're supposed to yell a little louder. Next time you gotta yell at me. I didn't hear you, dog. Broken wire pickups. <laughs> <laughs> That's his new band name. He said. I was like, let's just start again. Uh, let's just just keep going, man. So let's, I guess you can't do that. It must be a continuous flow of electricity. We're gonna hit this guy off with ten thousand wounds. We're going to, have to go 10,000 wounds on this guy. Those aren't grannies. They, they're the professors. Don't let, don't let me get off. Don't make me. It's already 9 o'clock. Oh, no. <laughs>
We had the deadline for JT is supposed to go. <laughs> it's all good. Well, this only takes about 10 minutes. You really want to. You did put a lot of work into it, didn't you? Yeah, man. Yeah, I, I won't let him forget this time, Bobby. No, I ain't going to forget on my own this time. Yeah, this is Seymour. This is the... This is the D more sunken pickup channel. D more sunken. D more sunken, man. <laughs> you guys are relentless, man. This is the D more sunken channel. <laughs> the D more sunken. That's good. Yeah. Who said that? No, he said, is it the Seymour Duncan channel? Oh, and you said <laughs> that, <said>, huh? <laughs> Being the songwriter, I am. I right. <laughs> put a spin yeah, on it. throw a spin on it. <laughs> DM said he could start scrapping with all that wire you bleed. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> we need to find no, some mermaid. I'll save it for you, man. Come and get it. I put it out there on the curb for you. <laughs> you can literally make baby doll hair out of that stuff. You heard me, right? Come on down. I'll put it on the curb for you. Oh, I'm bending him out a little bit and straighten him on up now. I done fingered it again round now. It's all whacked out of shape again. We gotta we gotta do this again. See how that works. So what do you gotta do? You gotta put that piece of foam somewhere. I gotta do my best not to mess this up. So I don't right. talk to me too much right now. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I mean, it's looking pretty good, fellas. I, I won't forget this time, guys. Oh, no. What have you done? Give back what you have stolen. <laughs> All right. All right. Who we got? What's up, Metalhead Hippie? Huh? Oh, Sassy Cat rolled in? What's up, Kizzy Kizzy Cat? Hey, I... Cat, I named my little pen we had in here. To hold the foam in place. It ain't. <laughs> you know stuff should be, ain't gonna be. Right? You know stuff it should be just ain't going to be. I'm thinking Murphy's we're good. Let's law. check it out. Yeah, what's his law? The guy's name Murphy. Murphy's Murphy law. sucks, don't he? Yeah. He's Let's reset this. I ain't blinding y'all, Emma. You ready, man? I'm Let's ready. See. Looking good. See, it looks pretty tight. Let's run a little scope on that. Just make sure everything's scoped. What's up, Poo Ninja? See? We gotta go over to the left a little. Right? Yeah. And a little out of the right. It should be out of sight. All right. I think I asked the guy. Got to make sure it don't wrap on the outside of the pickup. I screwed it up, didn't I? Ow. <laughs> you can't see it? <laughs> no, I'm not. All right. It's too close on the edge over here. Watch. Just a little bit. Or is it?
Shoot, I might be tripping. Yeah, I'm tripping. What's happening on that? Ten thousand miles. Well. We're gonna do ten thousand. Just cause we can. Right? It's only at six hundred and Oh, it is big up there. Wow. Yeah, there'll be it'll be ten thousand in just about three minutes. I'm gonna call it now. Ten a thousand right now. Huh? Sitting a thousand right now. Already, right? Fast, man. Is that thing fast, guys? I need my solder. What am I doing? Can't find anything. Not tonight. I was working on all these bags on guitar. He's going in the top room. I know. He's just sitting right here. Guess what? There it is. There it is. There it is. Right where he left. It's at 1800. Hey, there you go. Where were they, right where you put them? Yes. Right where I left them. Hey, that thing's dope, ain't it? Let's check it out. Woo. Boy, that bitch is clean. Look at that. Woo. It's good. Yeah, it's nice. It's pretty. What'd you find in the get to trash? Who was it that said that? TG. TG. What was that now? Yeah, we're going to whack bottom too. Definitely got to whack bottom. <laughs> you don't whack bottom, the wires and the magnets get to rattling around and cause all that feedback. Hey, JT, I got a job for you. Yeah. Even though that, and then huh, we're gonna take the wire, the razor, take some off, get them. Dane Electro, hit me up on Instagram and Facebook. If you want to send it in, and donate it to the channel. To give it to somebody. I'll give it to somebody after I fix it up. If that's what you're thinking. <laughs> you're like, give Are you thinking about me. me fixing up for you? Hit me up. Let me see. I'm going to show you something. I'm going to teach you guys something right now. See this wire? It's the cloth wire. You're not cutting the wire with the razor. Just going to take it. Drop the razor. <laughs> Probably do that a couple times. I meant to do that. And then look, JT. Just roll the wire. Under the razor. My razor was sharp. Pop them right off. Tap around, I need a razor blade. He gets everything for us. Huh? Kathy's good, ain't she? Look, 5,000. It ain't even been five minutes yet. Huh? That's how you do that. Yeah. Make it happen with whipping to get this guy going on. We're going to check, check it with the meter when we're done. You know what I'm talking about? You got to get the plate and the screw. Yeah. And then you solder the... I'll show you what you do. 
Thank you, dear. Yeah. Right on. Philippi, I got a Squire Mini that was going to mod for my kid. He took a part and never did any. I need to scar my guitar. <laughs> right on. Take it easy on your knees, Santa you Kent. I don't even know what that means, but it don't sound good. <laughs> Does it? What is that? Take it easy on your knees. You said. <laughs> yeah. Look, bro, it's almost done. Let's see what we're working on. It's pretty, bro. Yeah. He's fat, huh? Looking good. You got, a, you got a fat monkey, boy. Take it easy. Take it easy, TM. Take it easy. Mr. Mike, earwax. What? No. We're using beadwax, brother. It's almost, it's almost uh, hot. It'll be ready when we're done. Dip him in there for about five minutes. Yeah. Take all the air out. That's all you got to do. That was stupid. <laughs> that was dumb. <laughs> We're at 75, guys. Thing zipping right along there. Look at that wire, homie. Yeah, it is. Right? That thing is so cool. Yeah, it is. This thing was worth every penny. The Traverse. So you ain't got to sit there and go like this with it? It's almost impossible. Yeah, that would be really awesome. I tried it. I tried it. Yeah. I can't do it. I don't have the touch for it. If you're dumb, you got to be tough. You ever heard of that What is it? What, uh, when you fall down, you got to get back up. Uh, right? <laughs> yeah. I don't have any idea what they mean when they say hand wound because there's no way somebody hand wound. They mean, by, right, they mean that. <laughs> they mean they just stand there with the freaking wire. I like my lighted gadgets. That 8400. And still kicking. Clean him off. About wore that chip out there. Won't take but a minute once this is done. Uh, yeah, don't get burnt. Don't bother nobody. Molly Hatchet song. <laughs> That's a lot of wire, huh? Uh, this thing's only two hundred bucks, and then I'm I built this myself. Another thousand. I made this myself for about sixty bucks, maybe. Not even that. Maybe it was like. I don't know. You got to go watch the video, man. I make so much stuff, huh? Yeah, there's a link in the chat to me making this. All right, you ready? Ready. 95, boys. Well, I've been making guitars for so long now, bro, that making my own pickups was the next step. Yeah, I'm thinking this thing's going to be smoking hot. <laughs> That's what I'm thinking. All right, 99. Keep going, bitch. Seven, Ten grand on a nose. Ten thousand. Ten thousand wines. Where do they do that at? <laughs> Where do they do that at? I guess they we do it right here, don't we? We do today, right, JT? We do today anyway. <laughs> Hold that, brother. All right. Let me get my professors on. I like that. These are the professors. Now we're going to try to keep that wire up against that bobbin. Okay? Yeah. Just like that. See that? Yeah. I do not want that to get up in the middle of there. 
pull the end of that off, snatch it off. Snatch it off. There you go. That was cool, wasn't it? Just break the hair. So we thread that through there like that right there. See that? Yeah. And we'll put this one back through there. Cool thing about this wire, it can be straightened really easy. They hide Brian Adair. Huh? They hide Brian Adair. Brian Adair is in the chat. Man, Brian got one of the first guitars I ever made, dude. Where do you get the bobbins? Amazon. If you sell these pickups, how much? I do not know yet. <laughs> I would be lying to you if I told you. I'll say yeah. this one right here for. <laughs> huh? We'll start the bidding right now. There Things are only worth as much as people are willing to pay for them. So you might as well bid them out. That's a good All idea. Right, here's what we're doing. <laughs> okay. We are going to stick this through here. With this, you got a cigarette lighter, you don't smoke. He's not a smoker, I'm not either, so we don't have a lighter. But I keep one around for, you know, whatever. We're going to stick this down here, JT. Like this right here. See that? The yeah. white goes on that side? Yes, sir. That's the hot. Them down there like that. All right. Just like that. Curve them on up. So it stays put. I am on down. Grab the solder and the gun. Put a little piece of solder on there. Try to make this quick and fast. There we go, there we go. Oh my god, there we go. Looking good. Hold that, Dr. <laughs> JT. Same thing. Same thing. Run it back. Trust me. Doing it like that, it's easier than coming up from the top. Don't ask me why. You can go ahead and set that like this, I guess. All right. Make sure that's out of the way of the wire. Like that. Like you so. Right? Yes, sir. Stay away from the little wire. See that? Don't want to touch it with this. Is it cut it in half? Cut it right in half, yeah. I just want to melt a little bit of this in that hole. I want to get a little goo in the hole. There we go. A little more on there. There we go. Hold that for a minute there, Jesse. Jeremiah. All right, what do you guys think this thing's ringing in at? 8K? Nope. I'm going to tell you right now, it's going to be hotter than that. But I don't know nothing, so let's try it. If it even works, right? Does it work? Hold it up, JT, so they can see it when I do it. Hold it up so they can see it if it works. I got nothing. It ain't working. So we gotta heat this up. Uh oh. 
It ain't working. Let's get a little more solder in. Get them back in. Hopefully. Hopefully they didn't, we didn't wind it done today. Did we? Man, we don't wind us. There we go. There it goes. Oh, buddy. It's alive. Ooh, I told you it's going to be higher than nine, eight, nine, whatever. Ten, ten, fifty-seven, ten. Ten point five. That's a ringer, son. That's hot. We're crazy, ain't we? <laughs> Why not be? Why not do it different? Shoot. All right. All right, guys. JT's got to run. Yeah, I got to get going. Thank you for having me, brother. I had a great time. You always You guys me. are awesome. I'll see you on the next show in the chat. Check this out. That's crazy cool. That's cool. That's good. You this. dip it in wax? Yeah. Take your deep breath. Dude, you need to start selling them, man. Oh, the wax ain't done. You need to start selling them. You gotta wait until it's too cool. He ain't leaving yet. The wax ain't ready. Ephesus, man. You gonna go broke. Give me all your money, man. I appreciate you, brother. It's really nice of you, man. Thank you. Yeah, brother. You got a set of pickups coming to you, bro. Ephesus does. Nice. Yeah, he should be on the way. He should be about there right now. Anyway, what was I going to say? Oh, yeah, let's get this out of the way. What would y'all think about that, man? Pretty cool, huh? A rookie did it all by himself the first time. Yeah, right. <laughs> well, I probably could do it. At least I, mean, I could do it now. I know all the process. Hey, I appreciate that. That was a, that was very, very entertaining, knowledgeable. Invigorating. Invigorating, yeah. I just throw this thing over here. I got the other CNC outside now. So really what makes the difference is what kind of magnet they use. Is that pretty much what it is? Right. And, and now an Eagle 5, is that more powerful or less you powerful? Know, look, guys, if y'all guys know the answer to that question, tell it because I'm going to tell you right now. I have no idea what makes what better. All I know is if you wind them until they're about ready to pop, <laughs> they sound good. That's awesome. That's all I know. If you wind them until they're about ready to pop, they sound great. Yeah, this will be done in a minute. Good for that chunk of wax out of there. Good. Kathy still makes the best pickups. Yes. All, All right. All the way from Hiroshima. Good morning. Fat philosopher. Yeah, that's my guy. He's always in the He's a Buddha. Very scientific method. Yes. He, he's a very scientific guy, if you haven't noticed. The Tex Mex are 6.4. Hmm. They sound killer. Did you see my buddy playing that freaking little bitty telly I fixed up, JT? Uh -oh. You didn't see Trey Gettings playing that thing? When was this? Uh, on a couple of chats back. I probably. I think better. you were in the chat. That's when you said you were coming yeah, over. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But, um, man, Trey was wearing that little telly out, wasn't he, guys? Yeah, I think, me personally, I'm a seat of the pants kind of guy all day long. If I, if I ain't trying to figure out a new way to do something, it ain't I'm rock not happy. Science, right? It's rock and roll. <laughs> Bro, this thing came out good. Let's check it again. Want to make sure it's still working. Didn't come right on, so it's sketchy. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah, I'm going to check the pickup again, man, because it might be a little sketchy. It didn't come right on. That's That's not normal. My wife said, check it again now that it's cooled off. Oh, yeah, he's still banging. Yeah. Yeah, he's still fine. 
Yeah, that was a little scary after all that, wasn't it? Looks good too. Yeah, it's clean. <laughs> the wires about hanging off of it, but yeah, it's clean. It's a good thing. Uh, I don't have any. Uh, I don't have any. Uh, any real tape, but we we wrapped it with this and I dropped pot it real quick. Oh, oh yeah, that. Yeah. That. What is that stuff called? Ribbon. Yeah, the ribbon tape. We just been using the black tape, regular black tape, for those. I mean, she uses that ribbon tape for the humbuckers. Right? She's only wound a couple humbuckers so far. They're hard to do, man. Humbuckers hard to wind, guys. It ain't no joke. It is. He said he sold my last Les Paul yesterday. He decided it was super strats or bust for me. Yeah, buddy. Yeah, I got a bunch of guitars, man, but they're all. Let me show you my super strat. Oh, yeah, bust your strat out, bro. I mean, it, what the heck? Is a, is a super strat um, got to have a Floyd Rose on it? <laughs> I don't think so. This is my, my custom shop. Uh, hollow flake with with the everything the D more sunken everything pickup that set up got rosewood I don't like them either fat philosopher this is my honey can bear can I plug it in plug it in Move the case that thing is the real deal holy field right there or once I get to mess on somebody else's guitar. I like it when I pick them up out of the case and they're in tune. I do too. That's a real guitar right there, buddy. <laughs> yeah, I'll wear it. Wow, look at the glitter on that thing. That's awesome. It still sounds like a strap, but it's got humbuckers, you know? Oh, yeah. Pretty cool, huh? Woo! <laughs> better get that guy. Oh, Mickey, what's going on, Mickey? Man, that thing sounds so good. I don't know what y'all are hearing in there, but this thing is rocking in this chat. Huh? Those pickups sound incredible. The JB Jr. Right. Where's the, uh, there's no coils to tap for? No. They don't buy more of that? You can. But I, I don't, do. I just don't. Yeah, you have your, your uh, out of phase. That's the duck, duck bucker. That's the, those two, and then that's the little fifty nine. But Austin God, I, I, I really, I maybe use, I, I maybe go to the third position. I guess because well, I'm playing rhythm, so I don't. I used to hit that for a couple, you know. For those nice beefy leads, but I don't play lead as much anymore in the band, so I just kind of stick around. And all the ones I'm building now are hardtails, and you know, some of them are just like the 
one pickup humbucker in it. Yeah, it sounds totally awesome. Yeah, you know, my I had I had this same guitar for 20 years, and then it got stolen, and the guys down in St. Pete, all the musicians, found this for me and picked it up. It was about four or five years ago. And the music music shop gave it to them for thirteen hundred dollars because they heard about you know mine getting stolen, and uh, this guitar after the whole the whole you know hike went through the roof. It's like thirty five hundred dollars on every, everywhere you look. So, but I'm never getting rid of it. So it don't matter how much it's worth. <laughs> Yeah, when I first started playing when I was a kid, I had a 79 Strat. Well, every, club we, every club we went in, my single coils, especially down in St. Pete, that they'd have neon everywhere, and my single coils would just... You know, and I, I was a kid, I didn't know what the hell was going on, so my guitar guy said, hey man, they're, they're making the, I literally, I think the first or second year, these uh, JB Juniors came out, I, I, I started using them. This thing's so awesome. Growler, bro. It's got some subtle Dang, it's not too heavy either, actually. No, nah, it's actually very really light. Right? It's got that dirty D's AC DC sound to it, man.
Hey, JT's a killer singer. Sing him one of your songs. Yeah, let me think. Got one you sent to. JT's killer singer. Watch. Dollar bill. The root of Mount Evil. So, like, well, but I have money. Get it just a little, little, spend it on your honey. Every little thing that your little heart chooses. Let it ride a little, let it sing a blues. Dollar wild page i just posted that song i haven't released it yet i'm still kind of wondering about the mix but i made a little video and put it up there free for for life free free music for life with me um anyway ain't no way to make money on it anymore anyway and if you're ever in the st pete area tell them where you play oh yeah st pete tampa but i'm mostly st pete beaches i'm over at the Ricky T's, the Thunderbird, Daiquiri Shack, Katiki. Where's my band's band? called uh, Blackbird Revival. We play at a OCC, the uh, OCC Roadhouse, which is attached to a Harley dealership down there. We're playing Bike Night in uh, September, but uh, we're playing a bunch of gigs all the way to the end of the year. Working on a new record, so I'm fun, you know. Doing what JT does. Doing what I do, man. But I really appreciate you having me today, man. I had a good time. We'll probably got probably got the mail these things. Oh, that one's so good. You know what I'm saying? You can take it, but that's unless you're gonna wait on it. Yeah, that's cool. I'm gonna take it a while. Look, not even halfway down. Yeah, 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 yeah. I stuck it. I pulled it out. So. <laughs> Instantly. Boy, that sounds good. It's a great sound and guitar. Man, sounds good. <laughs> you like that guitar too. Oh man, you've been having that thing for a while now. Yeah, it's my. It's like a part. A part of. Because of part of you, you know. I'm surprised you haven't sharpied that yet. Yeah, I could Why sharpie it. Why not sharpie it? Yeah, that's what that's I'm saying. Yeah. Different colors. Yeah. You sharpie that with some different colors. I was going to have I it bet repaired. Your wife, look, listen. I bet you we could fix it right now with some glitter and some black <laughs> yeah. epoxy. I could fill that in with some glitter and even black epoxy and it look just like it. <laughs> yeah. Probably. I might do it. Show them the nick on everything it. Needs a, everything needs a. It's got a big. Here, let me see. It's got a big chunk taken out of it right here. See it? That's what happens when drunks come on stage. I guess so. I, I got walked up at the end of the night. I played it all night, and I didn't see anybody messing with it, and all of a sudden it's there. I was like, what the fuck? 
<laughs> Somebody knocked it over and put it back and didn't even tell him they did it. I'm thinking they must have done something. Wow, that's what they got. Probably my bass player. <laughs> really? <laughs> He's the drunk in the band? <laughs> no, no. I'm not. I'm not saying that. <laughs> <laughs> There's always a drunk in the band. Uh, he's yeah, all right. <laughs> he's all right, huh? Well, I got a big mess to clean up, man. I really appreciate you guys hanging out with us. But it's getting late over here, man. Yeah, and, uh, good times. We finna chill tomorrow. All right, guys. Have a good night. Thanks for letting me be on Scar, my guitar. What you guys know, right? Tell them, JT, what is it? What are we going to say? Don't you touch, touch my, my Scar guitar. guitar. Exactly. Till next time, fellas.